we have just arrived in Wadi Rum and we're about to take this Toyota. We're about to take it into the desert. They told us to hold on though, so I'm curious to see how this goes. <laughs> this nice guy over here gave us some fresh dates I'd never had before. So far, so good. <laughs> Okay, so we are in Wadi Rum. We finally made it. This beautiful landscape. We made it here just in time for sunset, which was amazing. And then we are going to have dinner and a show at 8 o'clock, which it is now 6.30, so we have an hour and a half to kill. But we are having a great time here in Jordan. <laughs> that, <backfired. laughs> that was perfect. I've been trying to do like... Get my scarf to cooperate, like be fluttery in pictures, and I think it just got mad at me. Shut up! No, this is super cool. I'm like super excited because we were talking about what is like the thing we're most excited about coming here on this trip, and I said staying in the desert. So far, it's like exceeding expectations. I'm super jazzed. It's very, it's very cool, and the Bedouins are super nice, so. Uh, yeah, one of them gave us fresh dates. Yeah, fresh dates. They were super sweet. I, I didn't think they would be that sweet when they were fresh because they're sweet when they're dried, but they are very sweet. I didn't know, okay, my dumbass, I did not know dates were like bright yellow before they were dried. Somehow I just thought that they were like red or purple. I don't know. It's because the, when they're dry, they're dark brown. I know, but in my brain, I, I literally have never seen, well, I'm sure I've seen them before, but I never knew what they were, a fresh date, so mm -hmm. now we know. He was just eating them off a, like a twig, like they were grapes. Yep. So yeah, he learns something new every day. But, so the sun just went down, it's going to get cold really quickly because we're out here in the desert, so we're probably going to... need more than my vindictive scarf to keep me warm. <laughs> yeah, so we'll probably go... Now it's cooperating. <laughs> Now we'll probably go back to the tent and we just got a really cool shot. <laughs> Instagram husband strikes again. Okay, I've created a monster. <laughs> it is nice though. He's taking lovely videos and photos. I'm glad we decided to start documenting our travels because as we travel, we talk about stuff and oops. And I'll be honest, I kind of forget about half of it until we start talking about it again or looking back at pictures or, you know, we can't quite remember everything. So I'm glad we have a little bit more documentation of what we're doing. We've been traveling together for 10 years now. It's time to start putting together a highlight reel of life. I'm very excited about it. This is for us. I'm gonna grab a soda for one dinar. And this is where we'll be eating dinner tonight. And our very nice host set up a telescope on the patio for us, so everyone's looking at the moon. Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh
Everything up there looks amazing. I couldn't decide, so I just went, went for it <laughs> and grabbed everything I could on one plate. We just ate a whole feast. It was very delicious. Could have been spicier, but it was freaking delicious. Very good. A man laughed at me because I love the bean soup so much. Lentil soup. He was very surprised because it's new on the menu. <laughs> We went for seconds too, so. We went for seconds, it was very delicious. The guys that make dinner, like, do work. So, they were hustling. And we got a little show to see them pull it out of the ground. Now we're gonna go take some night photos. We're out here doing some night photography. Or trying to, anyway. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> yeah, we need more work on that. But we did get a few cool ones. Yeah, just gotta be patient with it. Yeah, well, we also don't really know the settings to use, but we're working on it. But it's so cool. The stars out here are ridiculous, and I wish I could, I wish we were better at photography so we could, like, capture it, because it's pretty cool. Okay, so we didn't get to it before dinner, so we'll do it now. But I think it's worth noting where we're staying in the middle of the desert. Sorry, the light just went off. Okay, we're going in. There it is. Okay, so this is the deluxe tent. So there's regular tents that aren't as deluxe as this. I'm not sure exactly what the difference is, but over here we have a little coffee pot with some Nest Cafe stuff because we have to get up nice and early in the morning. The walls are, um, I mean, this is a Bedouin community, so I'm assuming these are handmade textiles from, from the city that we rode in on. We have three beds. I think some of them have doubles, some of them have singles. Air conditioning, which came in clutch today. The ceiling has a nice little tent vibe going on. Lots of plug-ins, so there's some there. There's some behind me. Nightstands, there's even a closet and some chairs. And this is pretty cool in the middle of the desert. Still have a walk-in shower, toilet, vanity all with hot running water and yeah it's pretty comfy so if you find yourself in jordan come to wadi rum hang out with the bedouins come into one of their camp communities because it's super cool this is about as fancy as you can get staying in the middle of literally in the middle of nowhere middle of the desert on the saudi arabian border it's crazy we're very lucky and it's been super fun josh is like like top so far has been hot air balloon this is mine. This is so cool. Now I'm gonna go eat some candy on the balcony. Good morning. We are waking up to our second day in Wadi Rum. Today we're gonna go on a four x four ride around the desert for a couple hours and then we're gonna pack up and make our way to the Dead Sea. So it should be a super fun day. Let's do it.
We just visited Al Khazali. Is that right? Yes. Al Khazali Kenya. And it's super cool because there's a love story inscription on the side of it. And then there is a little inscription that says so and so loves so and so. Yeah. That was very sweet. A parts H. That one's not very old though, but the rest of the inscriptions are very old. Yes. And then we learned a little bit about how the sand is different colors around here. Some of it is from the volcanic rock and water. And then... Sandstone from way up at the top. Yeah, sandstone from the top. And then what was the black one over there? That's volcanic. That one's volcanic also. Yeah. Just different. Different volcanic. Yeah. Our guide is getting kind of annoyed. And it's kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> what did he say? Yalla Habibi. Yalla Habibi. He doesn't like those girls back there. <laughs> They're taking too long. Yeah. It's kind of funny. And the, the nightclub bro. Yeah. I think he likes us because we keep good time. We, we have a schedule to keep. We have a schedule. Also, the flies out here are like mosquitoes. They are freaking relentless. They go straight for the once, nostrils. Once and the they eyes. want your ear, they're not going away. I feel like I'm going to slap myself in the face. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> it's it's going to be the scarf. <laughs> the <laughs> scarf. <laughs> and then my hand. Oh, when we got here, he goes, This Bedouin supermarket. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. Fly. Anyway, on to the next one. driving us around or stopping in places to take pictures and then they tell us some cool stuff about rocks and sand and it's pretty fun. Yep. We just climbed up this very steep hill. It was very soft sand. Made, made of sand. We're in the desert so why am I surprised? <laughs> it didn't click with me until about halfway through that there's like a rocky side. I was doing my like side camel step which has proven effective and other desert locales, but they were right there. Just walk on the rocks. If it looks familiar out here, it's because they have filmed Star Wars, The Martian, Transformers, what else? Indiana Jones? Indiana Jones. Yeah, a lot of movies are filmed out here because it looks like you're not on Earth. <laughs> And I'm assuming it's a heck of a lot cheaper than shooting in Utah. Anyway. Just took a bunch of basic photos and now we're gonna head back down and I'm sure it will be a lot less strenuous than on the way up. I don't know where Josh went. Oh, he's taking pictures of some rocks. Oh, there he is. Ready? Yeah! Ooh. Clearly. Watch him fall. Fall, fall, fall. Oh, he's still going. There's still time. Nah. Disappointing. Tried and true. I stand by my rock methodology. It worked. So, our driver, Khaled, gave me this stone. He said he found it at the tower where we were just at taking photos. And he said that it looks like there's mosquitoes in it that you can see, he said, to take very fine sandpaper uh -huh. and it'll be really shiny and you should be able to see the sun through. Oh, that's so cool. That's so kind of him. Yeah. Our driver's super nice. He just, he's like I leading love us him. around. Doesn't speak a lot of English, but enough. It's I good. think he speaks great English. Yeah. I know what he's saying. Yeah. 
but it's good. He's super nice. He's so sweet. <laughs> I wasn't sure because in the emails that I had from the company, they were like, your drivers are there to drive. Like some of them don't speak English, you know, but he is wonderful. He's told us everything we needed to do. He set all of our expectations. He's told us stories of him climbing these rocks with Swiss people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. just the best. Khaled's been great. Our Bedouin driver today has been great. I think he's camera shy though. He's I, I, I shy. waved at him and he wouldn't wave at the camera. He said he's 20 and he's lived out here his whole life and he likes his job. So yeah, off to the next, who knows what. This is the best part. It's like air, air of air conditioning. <laughs> So, our driver told us, our Bedouin driver, not Khalid, told us that there is a spring up where this tree is up here, and that one of the nomadic tribes that came through here would come and get water, and they put a little inscription, like the OG advertising, on this rock, so, so that people coming through the desert knew that there was water through this little spring up here. And what is he saying? Lawrence of Arabia yeah. came and drank from this spring. So, how exciting. Oh wait, hold on, dead end. Go that way. Well, it's not a dead end, but I'm not 10 feet tall, so I can't get up. <sighs> Our sweet driver is giving us directions from the ground. Come to the right. I hear it. And I'm not sure, I'm quite sure what he wants us to do, but it's super sweet that he's so concerned. <laughs> and that's it. There's probably water underneath you. But the water comes from the rock, goes down this little hole, and you can see the pipe goes all the way down and provides water for this camping village. I'm not sure what happened here, but it's slightly unsettling. He's coming. I always do so much better on the way down than on the way up with those things because of my upper body strength from all the aerials. You just kind of lever yourself down. And you don't have to use too much muscle. Also, a nice British woman yesterday at Petra told me that I have yoga arms, that they looked very good. And so I'm just on a high about my upper body strength today. Here he comes. He's right there. Yay, you're done. Yay. And now, this is our last stop. 